Tesla Giga Texas 360 degree video preview shows an upcoming revolution in electric vehicle production by Tesla. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Recently, our friend Joe Techmeyer shared a 360 degree footage of Tesla's Gigafactory Texas facility, which hints at what could very well be an upcoming revolution in electric vehicle production. The facility, which has been under construction for less than two years, is expected to start production of the Model Y Tesla electric vehicle before the end of the first quarter. The stunning 360-degree footage was shared by drone operator, our friend Joe Techmeyer, who allows us to share it with Torque News community, who has been following Giga Texas progress since its earliest days. The video is particularly eye-catching because it captures just how massive Giga Texas is. Take a look at that. You're seeing it on your screen. Techmeyer later remarked that his drone lost about 50% of its battery just by flying around Tesla Giga Texas. More importantly, however, the footage shows just how integrated the company's EV production in Gigafactory Texas would be. Quite unlikely, the company's existing vehicle production sites, the Fremont Factory and Gigafactory Shanghai, Giga Texas is a gigantic monolithic structure. Previous comments from CEO Elon Musk noted that the facility would have three main sections with gaps between them being large enough for semi-trucks to move around. Can you imagine that? This is where things get particularly interesting. Just last month, Bloomberg noted that Tesla's Fremont factory in California is currently the most productive car factory in the country, and we reported on that averaging a weekly production rate of 8,550 electric Teslas per week or about 51 cars per hour. The Fremont factory was more productive than other notable auto plants across the United States. This includes Toyota's plant in Georgetown, Kentucky, BMW's facility in South Carolina, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and Ford's Dearborn, Michigan hub. It should be noted that Tesla's Fremont factory would likely be the company's least efficient vehicle production facility in the long run after Giga Berlin and Giga Texas come into operation. Being a factory that was initially built to create internal combustion cars, the Fremont factory is not fully optimized to produce electric vehicles. Gigafactory Texas is and it was constructed and designed following the company's success in Gigafactory Shanghai, Tesla's first offshore electric vehicle plant. This suggests that Giga Texas, once fully ramped, would likely dwarf the Fremont factory in terms of output and sheer productivity. One of Elon Musk's visions for Tesla's electric vehicle plants involved a concept he fondly dubbed as the Alien Dreadnought, which is a factory that is so automated it would not look out of place in a high-budget sci-fi movie. Tesla attempted this in the Fremont factory and ultimately failed as ev um, evidenced by the challenges faced by the company during the Model 3 ramp, which were difficult. With all the lessons Tesla has learned over the years, however, and with projects such as Tesla bot coming in the future, perhaps Elon Musk dreadnought might soon be feasible and perhaps built in Texas. I don't know. I don't like these alien things very much. I'm more human. I want us to keep our humanity and be alert on those things because things are going to get more dangerous when a lot of robots come to our lives. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. What do you think, friends, about this Texas uh, Giga Texas 360-degree video preview? And please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. Let me know your thoughts in the uh, opinion section in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Sharing social media that helps us tremendously. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend, and let's move on to see what we have next for you. Tesla just received an unexpected support to accelerate Giga Berlin's construction approval from German traffic light coalition. Let's take a look what this support means and how powerful this organization is in German politics. Tesla has received support in expediting the construction approval of Giga Berlin from the German traffic light coalition. Politicians cite Tesla factory's approval process as an example and call for further procedures to be completed faster by reducing unnecessary steps. This joins the calls by Jörg Steinbach, who has been very supportive of Tesla and has been calling 
waiting for change in the approval process of Tesla Giga Berlin and also in uh, similar companies. In German politics, the traffic light coalition is a coalition government of the Social Democratic Party of Germany, SPD, the Free Democratic Party, FDP, and Alliance 90, the Greens. The coalition outlined initial ideas for faster approval procedures so that future projects don't face the same delays as Tesla or other environmental projects that will develop there. According to SPD member of the Bundestag, Matthias Stein, repeated interpretations, cycles of objections, and answers which for example greatly slowed down the approval process for the construction of Giga Berlin should be avoided in the future. He says therefore we stipulated in the coalition agreement that citizens participation procedures should no longer be repeated in full after plain changes in the current approval procedure said the deputy representative for transport policy of the SPD parliamentary group to Handelsblatt. He added instead we are pursuing pursuing a more programmatic approach in that only newly affected parties are involved in the objections are only permissible against changes to the plan. I think this is a great idea because right now if Tesla makes big change in the or one major change in its plan, everybody, all the citizens need to be participate and discuss the whole thing again. But what they're offering the SPD that uh, if there is a new change, only those people who are affected by that change will be invited to participate and bring input to that. So these considerations were welcomed by the SPD coalition partners. Even with the project that have been going well so far, we need to see where we can get even better, said Hannes Blatt Dieter Janek. Um, he says accelerated planning as one of the central projects of the new federal government. This is essential for the success of the energy transition and the environmental transport and transformation of the German economy. After all, Tesla and Giga Berlin may really bring some good change in German approval process. So liberals made similar statements. The FTB is accessible to everything that speeds up and simplifies the process and does not happen at the expense of third parties, said uh, uh, Hannes Blatt, Daniel Faust, building and house spokesman for the FTB parliamentary group in the uh, Bundestag, adding even during the process and construction, we need to be more flexible. Janacek suggested to do this, we need flexible process with which we can also respond in a non-bureaucratic way to changing plans or framework condition. In addition, formal errors should be better curable and the current uh, curable to the current process. The precursor for the development of this topic in, Gen in Germany was the delay in the start of production at the Tesla plant in Brandenburg. Although the construction there is almost completed uh, and the manufacturer is already testing production of Model Y, there is still no final approval from the responsible state office for the environment. Following changes to the plan last year, the entire approval process had to be restarted, including a public hearing, which delayed approval by more than six months. It was recently revealed that Tesla will not be able to start production at Giga Berlin earlier than mid-March. I reported that yesterday because the authorities will again be checking the factory's safety procedures. The manufacturer has changed the amount of toxic chemicals that can be released in accidents in an attempt to best improve safety, but now the testing process must be redone again. Last year, Tesla highlighted the downsides of the lengthy approval process. The company pointed out that the German system for the approval of industrial and infrastructure projects, as well as territorial planning, directly contradicts the urgency of planning and implementing projects needed to combat climate change. The main essence of the pro problem was that in the current procedures and laws, projects that fight climate change and those that accelerated are re, um, uh, treated equally. Brandenburg economic minister Jörg Steinbach, who is a clear supporter of the Tesla Giga Berlin settlement, has already advocated for reforming Germany's planning law in July 2021. The topic of slow approval affects not only Tesla, but also the expansion and modernization of transmission networks in the electric power industry. The routes have been complained about here for years. Uh, 
grids with the results that we have an expansion rate that every land snail surpasses he said uh, at that time adding we just can't afford something like that if we want to become climate neutral friends this is good news that we get tesla get um, uh, unexpected support from the uh, traffic light coalition in germany let me know your thoughts what do you think about this i think this is all good thank uh, uh hopefully uh, the, the tesla giga berlin will be approved very soon and hopefully by mid-march the deliveries of model y made at giga berlin and hopefully with 48 60 46 80 batteries will go to their new owners i would like to hear your thoughts what do you think this is armin harian from talknews.com have a great day please give us a thumbs up after you subscribe to our channel and um, let's move on to our next story